Asante. Marky Jana Rex. Familia. kwa sababu anaogopa maneno ambayo tuko nayo tuna uchungu mkubwa sana uchungu kama nchi uchungu hata kama jamii kama vile gavana akiongea kama mama ameongea hapa kumpoteza yeye kijana but we are saying kwa kimombo the death of rex kanyike masai will not go down in vain he has contributed to change the way this country is governed forever. Mwaka jana watu vijana 75 walilazwa chini na bunduki za risasi la kome na bunge. Mwaka huu huyu kijana wakiongoza majensi katika Mandamano ye nyamani tupu Walibeba tuchupa ya maji Bendere ya Kenya Kwanza ni halali Si halali kabisa Kumpiga mwanainchu wa Kenya Mbae anajifunika national flag Bendere ya Kenya is sankrosang Kijana kawawa Lakini masaya kwa wakwanza katika yale ambayo ametokea kama mawaji ya vijana 40 na moja Ruso alikuwa amesema ni watu sita peke yake. Mimi nipata fursa ya kwenda kwa City Mochari kwa na Kenyatta National Mochari na nikaona vile vijana wengine hata bongo zao zimelupuliwa kama by nuclear bomb katika inji ambayo na ejita inji ya demokrasia kwa hivyo leo tuke msindikiza yu kijana mimi nimesikia ruto nikija hapa akiutubia taifa yale amesema kwa mpano ni kwamba ataunda tume another tume ambayo to report in three months pastor Dickens I thank you yu kijana avyo sema pastor and I think we are also seeing generational change within the church itself. Fearless, truthful church leaders, young as a Gen Z. Kwa hivyo, kusema kwamba atavunjilia mbali mashirika rubaini na saba. Yale ya kusema ni kwamba na mpango Kenya Airways iwe mmoja hao ambao wanataka kuuza wanataka kufanya deal on Kenya Airways Ruto usidhubutu to take the national carrier the way you have taken the mother com com companies in parastatos we have just to sound that warning we want to say in no uncertain terms 
that what the Gen Z has done has captured world attention. Nimeona ma Gen Z kwa Jazeera. Nimeona those peaceful demonstrations kwa CNN, headline news, kwa BBC, France television, the world, Sky News. What has happened in Kenya has dramatically changed the way this country is governed. Mr. Ruto, the announcements you made today are too little, too late. Now, they want real change once and for all. It is now or never. Vijana bado mapambano sio. Vijana musilale. Bado mapambano. Bado mapambano. Sasa it is we are almost there. Mheshimiwa waziri Kindiki akanukuliwa jana kwa runinga akisema kwamba wale ambao waliingilia maandamano ya vijana wa jensi walikuwa hirelings na wana siasa fulani fulani when i was called by mr gaido i told him tell them that is called hogwash if you have evidence that any of the national leaders have been involved in, with Gen Z, do not hesitate to kotayari, to kamate, to honor exactly what it is, what evidence you have. At Wagopi, we love this country. What has happened instead? Nina kijana mbaya naeshi gachie. Aliona watu wa gachie, a lot of them walikata, lakini wengine wakapatiwa marungu na pesa. Pesa pendeni mukaribu maandamano ya amani ya jensi vijana wanekane wao wamegeuka kuwa wahuni. This has been state-sponsored terrorism. Kuaribu maandamano ya amani ya vijana. Kwa hivyo, kwa hivyo, musifadhaike. Kijana amelala we. Young. The whole future before him. And we have heard the painful story. Thank you, Governor Avinia, for what you have done and for saying you are going to name one street after this young man. But what he has done is beyond Machakos. It is captured world attention. We will not try even to enter the Gen C space. We are going to leave that because we have not had anything to do with it. What Raila na Mimi na kina kina wenzetu wa azimio tulifanya mwaka jana we could not even get to the central business nyinyi mliingia kule na mkatawala mliingia na mkatawala sasa sasa 204 members of the national assembly walipiga no no walipiga yes how many of them? Two or four. Two or four. Ndiyo alipiga? Yes. Consider this, Gen C. I'm not going to enter your space. But we have said that if they don't accept the fact that parliament, the sanctity of the national institution called parliament, and in this case the national assembly was impeached impeached by the people of Kenya. Walipoingia kule, authority ya bunge ya taifa national assembly was undermined, was compromised. Now how can you sit in an institution like that? Bwana Ruto nasema, sign into law immediately. I was expecting kwamba watakuwa mesign the IBC amendment bill 2024. Diyo tuwe na IBC Tukiwa na IBC in place. But they do what Macron in France has done. Do what Rishi Sunak did. The conservatives were wiped. <laughs> were wiped by Labour. Labour wakapata viti miaine na kumi. 
Conservative has, re, has recorded the worst ever performance tangu Uingereza iwe kama nchi aina hiyo. We therefore invite Ruto announce a snap election. What are we going If you are not resigning, then announce a snap election. Wangapa nakubaliana na mimi? Wangapa nasema Ruto aonde? Ruto mas? Ruto mas? Sio Kalonzo anasema hiyo. Ni Kenya nzima including Rift Valley kwenyewe. And talking of Rift Valley, we saw an attempt in Eldoret kujaribu kurudisha inchi hii nyuma by asking a few people wajihami and I hope the world is also watching that is how the story of Madoadoa Ilianza 2007 we will not agree this country to go that way the international criminal court is watching na tutakubali mauwaji ya kikabila tena and here you are saying I agree with Ruto on one thing. He has said the conversation has been there. He said when he was campaigning, the national conversation has changed. People are talking about ideas, not about tribalism. Yes, the conversation, Mr. Ruto, has changed. And Kenyans are telling you, you either end corruption today, which is impossible, ama onaenda nyumbani. Because hiyo mambo ya corruption ndio kijana inamfanya huyu alale hapa. Na tuna machungu zaidi. Kwa hivyo mimi nawaomba tu tukubaliane GNC. Pengine sasa the 204 constituencies. Hey, mimi I will recommend if there is a snap election. Nataka vijana GNC mujitokeze muondoe wale. Muondoe hao. Muondoe hao. Wangapi wamko tayari kwa hivyo? So the country's future is bright is now bright because of Gen Z. Finally Kanisa. Kanisa. The church in Kenya. Please don't accept to be caught to state house to be compromised. The world is watching. And we don't want for this young generation because i've got this from very reliable sources kwamba we can mtaanza kuambiwa oh sasa ombeoni inchi ombeeni hivi we want the church to reclaim its position remember what the bible says you are the salt of the earth na kama chumvi basi inapoteza ladha what will happen and we got to a stage where we are saying that if the foundations are so shaken what can the righteous do what can the righteous do so kijana alale vizuri mama agree with governor wavinya don't curse anybody the bible says leave vengeance to me god says leave vengeance to me and you see what will happen you see what happen babarex leave vengeance to god but there are things we must do and we are going to have to do like la luta continua la luta continua la luta continua until this country is truly liberated